Um, my name is Dana Milkey, and uh, I lead the EGIM North America as the general manager. I can't tell you guys how excited I am uh, to be talking to you today about the launch of EGIM's latest innovation, Fitness Hub. As you're going to learn throughout the presentation, Fitness Hub is truly, and I mean truly, a game changer for operators, your staff, and your members. As a way to get started, I wanted to quickly walk through the agenda for today's presentation. First, we're going to do a quick over of e overview of EGIM as a company our vision, our global footprint, and our ecosystem, open ecosystem. From there, we will introduce you to the Fitness Hub, talk about the key problems it solves and some of the important features designed to enable operators and staff to make significant impact on the member experience. Also, so you don't only have to hear from me today, we'll intersperse a couple of videos along the way and wrap up by talking with a special guests about their facilities experience with the Fitness Hub. Lastly, we're gonna do some Q&A um, or as much as time will allow. All right, speaking of the Q&A, like other people in this crazy Zoom world, I have participated in a number of webinars, both as presenter, panelist, and participant over the last year. I I've always found the most effective ones include some great questions from attendees. I guess my hope today is that we're able to make our time together very beneficial and interactive. So I encourage you to ask questions by using the Q&A widget at the bottom of your screen. At the end, we're gonna to get to as many as time will allow. But don't worry if we don't get to your specific question or questions, we'll have someone from the eGym team follow up um, to get you answers. So thank you in advance for all your questions. Okay, before jumping into a deeper dive on the star of the show, the Fitness Hub, I wanted to spend some time talking about eGym our vision, innovation history, and approach to our open ecosystem. So EGIM started in 2010 by our co-founders, Philip and Florian. They set out to solve the problem of the other 85% of health club members, the non-exercisers, those returning after a number of years away from fitness, and those that rely primarily on cardio to stay healthy. Um, their question was, um, what was, what was it about the experience with strength training, because it was clear to them that existing approaches were not addressing key challenges that members faced. By applying technology to strength equipment in a very different way, they created a smart solution designed to help beginners, returning members, and experts alike become stronger, healthier, and more fit. You fast forward to 2018, EGM acquired NetPulse, a North American company I know many of you are familiar with, that had grown into the global leader in providing member apps to the fitness industry. By combining digital technology, smart equipment, and an open platform, eGym has positioned itself as a global leader in delivering innovative solutions to the market via our eGym suite of connected products. So following Philip and Florian's vision and leadership, eGym has been able to grow to service over 13,000 client locations in over 47 countries. We're deeply entrenched in the health and fitness industry. We continue to focus on delivering results that matter for both facilities and their members. I think one principal belief that drives EGIM forward is really simple but critically important. We believe that member success equals operator success. So as I mentioned earlier uh, in the introduction, EGIM was founded on innovation and continues to be committed to that as a core value beginning with the original smart strength equipment, continuing with the gamification, gamification, let me try that again. I'm not as young as some of the younger people, but gamification of the member experience and evolving to our open eGym cloud platform. Our goal has always been to help members achieve real results. With our latest innovation, the Fitness Hub, we have upped the ante on providing technology solutions to deliver operator, staff, and member success. So over time, uh, eGym's innovation developed into an ecosystem of smart strength, digital applications, and integrated partnerships. What was missing, frankly, from that ecosystem was a way to pull it all together. The Fitness Hub is designed to serve as the center of the connected fitness floor, as well as the center of the member's health journey. So one of the keys to making the Fitness Hub and the introduction of the Fitness Hub possible 
is eGym's unwavering commitment to de delivering an open ecosystem. Today, eGym connects with over 75 integration partners, and, and as that number is growing, which includes things like cardio manufacturers, wearable devices, body composition tools, and facility and member management systems. Perfect example of this is our integrated cardio experience, Smart Cardio, which easily integrates and connects with leading third-party cardio equipment. So for you operators out there, this means you have the flexibility to build your ideal facility based on the concepts you believe in and the brands you know and trust now and in the future. Because eGym, the eGym Cloud is an open platform, eGym is perfectly positioned to expand our ecosystem as your business models morph and change. We made the commitment to ensure, we made this commitment to ensure that operators are not boxed in and have access to all the leading solution providers. So for members, the eGym Cloud provides the ability to connect nearly all of their personal devices and apps that track any of their workout activities and health data directly into our into your facilities apps. By providing members with an easy path to integrate third-party fitness and wellness data, eGym, the eGym ecosystem drives increasing adoption of your digital strategy, fosters brand loyalty, ties outside workout apps more closely to your facility, and provides a more holistic view of member activities and progress. So I just provided eGym's history and our approach um, to innovation and the ecosystem as a, as a background or a backdrop to that. I do think it's important to share um, some of the other work that eGym did regarding, um, that actually drove the fitness of innovation. You know, what we learned from talking globally with thousands of health and wellness facilities of all types is that there are challenges in getting members set up and onboarded. More specifically, new members oftentimes need handholding in order to be successful. Unfortunately, trainers or staff get sidetracked with a lot of non-value added tasks, such as reason shut up, manual rep counting, trying to control what members do without working out with them, you know, how much weight should they use, et cetera. So instead of being able to apply their skills towards being more of an advisor, they wasted unnecessarily being an admin clerk. So Additionally, with that, the members, or, you know, existing or new members struggle and are derailed by a lack of visible progress, you know, in, input from club staff and trainers, and lagging motivation. The Fitness Hub is ultimately designed to help make both trainers and staff more effective in helping individual members track and achieve measurable, sustainable progress. So in addition to talking to facilities, um, which was kind of the first component of it, we also interacted with uh, thousands of members to get a better understanding of what they wanted. You know, given the continued growth in the number of fitness facilities globally, as well as the increased data, you know, published data on the importance of strength training to overall health and wellness, we wondered why more members weren't comfortable with and or weren't using strength equipment to fuel their progress. Um, I mean, the data is out there. What 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 was what was the hurdles that they were facing? You know, it turns out that the blockers came down to primarily three main areas. First, members wanted the equipment to be easy to set up and be personalized to them as individuals. They also wanted the machines to remember them when they came back. Um, this included things like seat settings, range of motion settings, amount of weight they lifted last time, et cetera. Having to remember all that and make adjustments was a blocker for many of the members we talked to. Next, they also wanted an easy way to assess their progress frequently and independently because progress tends to happen in small increments in fitness. Being able to regularly self-assess or be assessed by staff to determine progress was key. Finally, the ability to track their progress was needed in order to create sustained motivation. Easily capturing feedback on the work they were putting in inside and outside um, the facility was another important, very important part of their holistic view of their health and wellness. Assimilating all that feedback into one place was also critical. On the surface, the member feedback we received made sense to you know, operators, staff, trainers, and members alike. The question that, that we at eGym asked 
that I think changed, for me, I think it changed everything was, can we develop a product that can deliver it all, all of that? The answer was yes. And the answer is the fitness hub. Got to tell you, every time I see that video, um, I get excited. Not necessarily about the video, but uh, really about the impact that I firmly believe the Fitness Hub will have on our industry, on your facilities, on your staff's um, impact, um, and most importantly, on your members. Um, we all know that member onboarding, that the member onboarding process is really the first touch point within a facility in place an immensely critical role in long-term satisfaction of the member and their loyalty to your brand. Uh, the Fitness Hub enables a touchless, smart onboarding experience that allows members to begin using eGym machines quickly and effectively. On top of that, as a knowledgeable guide, uh, it supports members by regularly assessing and visualizing the progress throughout their health and wellness journey. Fitness Hub's smart onboarding frees up trainers' time by um, automating repetitive tasks, enabling them really to focus on the value added work that they're trained to do. By reducing onboarding time by as much as up to and more than 50%, eGym's Fitness Hub immediately drives efficiency throughout your facility and with your members. The eGym's ability, the Fitness Hub's ability to onboard a new member in a touchless fashion is especially important in making members feel safe in these current times. You know, while a seamless experience alone can help with new members, a health and wellness facility has to understand a member's individual needs and goals to provide personalized onboarding journey that surpasses expectation. But the EGM Fitness Hub facilities can digitize and visualize fitness and wellness measurements to allow for continuous progress tracking that seamlessly integrates into the EGM ecosystem. Delivering visual progress motivates members to stick with it and share their successes with others, leading to improved retention, higher average lifetime member value, and a steady stream of new member referrals. Three really key, key points for uh, operators. So a little further on the smart onboarding or smart member setup. You know, one of the real frustrations members expressed to us was the manual setup that needs to be done, you know, virtually every time they use standard care equipment. Remembering the seat settings as I discussed, how much weight they used, you know, all those things is a hurdle for most members. This frustration was, was evident, you know, when they were by themselves and even with the help of trainers. Um, the Fitness Hub overcomes that challenge by using state-of-the-art body scan technology to personalize setup for each piece of eGym equipment. Once set up, back pad, seat elevation, and range of motion settings are all remembered, eliminating the need to start over again every time uh, a member works out. Further, the eGym equipment remembers the previous weight lifted and adjust according. The trust and comfort that members build in the eGym system spills over actually to the relationship they have with your staff and trainers. Freed from mundane setup tasks that occur with every session, trainers can now focus on individuals workout, staying connected to their, the progress they make and provide feedback, personalized feedback that matters. Trainers stop being admin clerks and start being trusted advisors. You know, the impact of this is significant for members' goal achievements at the end of the day. Also, your retention numbers and increase ancillary revenue streams like personal training. For facilities with a low staffing model, the ability to onboard a new member one time and know that they will be guided 
by the EGIM ecosystem going forward to make sure that they meet their goals and progress accordingly is a huge benefit. Using the Fitness Hub to ensure proper setup lays the foundation for a successful member onboarding experience and for the member success as they seek to achieve their health and wellness goals. So tying it back to what we learned from talking to members, we all know that providing continuous and sustained member motivation is a super difficult task. Um, I think operators have been trying to figure that one out since um, fitness became a thing. Um, I know operators have historically struggled to find ways to maintain motivation, particularly with new members, non-exercisers, et cetera. In other words, the other 85%. You know, one key piece of the struggle is the ability to visually show members the progress they are making on a consistent and measurable basis. Fitness Hub's self-assessment tool ensures that members get the feedback they need. It also provides operators with touch points such as muscle imbalance, body composition improvements, and increased flexibility to reinforce positive behavior and celebrate member wins. Our integrations with leading body composition providers is critical to the accuracy of the feedback that we're able to provide via the Fitness Hub. Member motivation can be a challenge, but the Fitness Hub delivers consistent, visual, and meaningful progress, leading the member to stay motivated on their health and wellness journey. So you, you heard me reference a bunch of times um, visual progress um, throughout this presentation. I thought it was time to take you know, a bit of a deeper dive into that component. You know, we've all heard the adage, age is just a number, right? Um, many of you who know me know I've been around in the fitness industry for a while. So the longer I'm around, the more experienced, quote unquote, I become, the more I hear that. You know, at eGym, we actually like to think that chronological age, which can never be changed, is just a number, and that a person's bio age, which can be impacted, is what's important. So what, what is bio age? The easiest way to understand the difference between chronological age, um, chronological age is how old you are based on your birth certificate. And bio age, bio age is how young you feel. Um, but in actuality, bio age is an EGIM developed measurement that takes into account a number of data points to provide a person with their biological age. I can tell you that members, including myself, love it because their bio age can be lowered through improvements in strength flexibility, metabolism, and cardio endurance. So think about it. How many of your members would not only love to say they're younger on the inside, but then also be able to prove it via eGym's bioage measurement? I, operators love the bioage um, measurement because it gives them the opportunity first to celebrate their members' um, achievement. So a member that's 50 years old comes in and is 45 on bioage and drives it down to 38. Huge reason to celebrate. Um, anytime operators can celebrate their member achievement, that's a great thing. But they also can do that while designing workouts, challenges, and activities to continue to help members progress. Met, uh, trainers love it um, because it really provides them with a visual representation to reinforce the guidance they've been giving them, uh, be giving the members and keeping the members focused on improvements. It's a great tool for trainers to use. In some respects, by providing a visual representation of how someone feels, BioAge is the ultimate motivational tool. So as more members prioritize how they feel, right? Some of, some of it's driven by, you know, what's been happening in the world, obviously, by the lack of access to, to health clubs uh, based during the COVID pandemic, but more and more individuals are prioritizing how they feel, how they move, and how healthy they are how, over how they look or the aesthetics of how, how they look. Measuring mobility and flexibility has become increasingly important to, to members in their overall progress. Um, while this can be difficult to determine for even the best trainers and staff, the Fitness Hub identifies and tra can track an individual's current mobility levels via as best-in-class 3D camera. This technology is so good that even if members, it even helps members to correct their posture to ensure accuracy. Slouching, uh, which we all do, tilting to one side or cheating are all detected and corrected by the fitness of in order to get consistent feedback. Identifying mobility problems early 
is critical in helping members make corrective actions and provide your staff with the data they need to assist them. I had a trainer tell me an interesting story about the importance of flexibility. He was working with a client who was fit by most people's standards, i.e. he looked the part, the aesthetics, but admitted he had trouble looking over his shoulder while driving because of a lack of mobility. Um, you know, he, he went so far as to say that there had been a number of uh, near misses because he actually couldn't turn uh, over his shoulder. Through a focused program, the trainer was able to visually see the improvement in, in his mobility, allow uh, the member to participate in the constant improvement, ultimately creating a safer driving experience for the member and his family. Often overlooked, assessing flexibility is an absolute necessity for members' overall wellness and the fitness hub delivers. So earlier in the presentation, we spent a lot of time talking about Engine's ecosystem and our commitment to an open platform. Um, having deep integrations with our partners via the EGIM cloud is really a key differentiating factor that benefits operators, staff, and members alike. Sharing data about a member's activities, exercise, strength, and flexibility, and delivering a holistic view of their health levels via bio age and other visual um, results is incredibly powerful. With the Fitness Hub at the center of a connected member journey, we have made that a reality. With an open platform, we are positioned to grow together with you now and in the future. The new eGym Fitness Hub represents the centerpiece of your connected training floor. It combines advanced imaging technology with cutting-edge software to improve new member onboarding, ongoing assessments, and member care in your fitness or health facility. Our goal is to make it efficient, exciting, and fun for members to be onboarded and to make it intuitive and easy to track their progress through recurring assessments. It excites with a great user experience that enables smart and touchless interactions preventing staff and members from having to interact with the same machines in the process. So members can get started on all eGym machines quickly and safely. Using cutting-edge 3D camera technology and machine learning optimized algorithms, Fitness Hub removes the repetitive hassle of setting up each machine during onboarding and frees up staff to spend their time on more valuable tasks, like focusing on what matters most personal interaction with their members on the training floor. The integrated flexibility tests provide intuitive on-screen guidance and precise cheating detection. This helps to solve the challenge of making progress visible, especially for flexibility, which is the perfect preparation and complement to strength training for our largely sedentary society. Fitness Hub's connection to leading body composition scales makes using them and syncing their data foolproof, and this way eligible for self-service. Digitizing and visualizing body measurements enables continuous progress tracking and integrates seamlessly into the eGym apps for easy access to insights for trainers and members. At eGym, we believe member success is the foundation of a fitness and health facility success. That's why we make progress visible at every turn, to keep members motivated and on track. Fitness Hub supports ongoing member motivation with personal goal setting, precise progress measurement and straightforward self-assessments, all in one place right on the training floor. With a variety of assessments, Members gain a comprehensive view of their physical condition, can identify potential, and see how far they've come already on their individual fitness and health journey. Fitness Hub frees up trainers from tedious manual tasks and enables them to focus on the value-adding interactions, leading to better member care and higher productivity, all at the same time. Seamlessly integrated into the eGym ecosystem, Fitness Hub enables fitness and health facilities to provide a consistently high quality and a personalized exercise experience that simply works out. With the eGym Fitness Hub, 
We are taking the next big step in making fitness and health facilities more successful, working out more effective and members more motivated. So, so sometimes the one thing I love about uh, doing these Zoom um, webinars is no matter how many times you run through things, um, there always seems to be one thing that happens when you're actually in the middle of the webinar. I promise you that Daniel, Sarah, and Philip, uh, one of our co-founders, um, were not lip sync. Um, and so somehow the, the uh, audio got out of sync, but so apologies for that. Um, but now that I've walked you through the fitness hub, its benefits and impact, I thought it would make sense to bring in some real world experience. I'm thrilled to be joined today by Jessica Rosario, Executive Director at the Belverde Spring Branch Activity Center in Belverde, Texas. Jessica and her team were part of our initial fitness hub test group, fitness hub test group, and I thought it would be insightful to have her share their experiences so far. Jessica, thanks for joining. Thank you, Dana. So Jessica, I thought, I thought I'd start by asking, um, you recently installed EGIM at your center. I, I'm curious, as I'm, I'm assuming others on the call are, as to why you decided to select EGIM as your partner. It's a good question, isn't it? Uh, we are a facility, we serve adults 50 and over, and the equipment that we have was just getting too old and just not safe for any members anymore. We are in a largely grown community, so we needed something that would not just attract and safe for members, but also something that would allow us to become a little bit more competitive with other gyms. Uh, E-Gym was the only system on the market now that actually allows you to do the memorized seating, reps and everything, but also provide an incentive for the members as they work out. So they can see the little coins that they got. It's like a Pac-Man machine. So they love the game part of it. It's safe to use for all ages, which is important to us. And it improves your hand-eye coordination. And then finally, we're nonprofits. So we rely a lot on grants and we have to do activity reports. So EGIM allows us not only to track the activity, but also the progress that each member makes. Awesome, thanks for sharing that. Um, I, I'm also curious as to the response from uh, your members, your staff and, and the Bavarian community so far. Yes, so we used to have, I would say less than 10 members probably working out in the gym. And uh, like I said, the equipment was old. Now about a month after we implemented the system, we have more than hundred people working out. They love that it feels like a game. We have people between ages 50 and 90 plus that come in and use it. And they just love using it. And they like the bio age. I know you mentioned that earlier and it's something that they really enjoy. We even have some friendly competition between a few of them that they wanted to see who had the lowest bio age. And they were in the eighties and to see if, you know, who could get the lowest one. So it becomes a, a game and a friendly competition and they're not even realizing that they're improving strength and balance when they work out. Yeah, that's awesome. I know you mentioned the gamification component and that was one of the things that really struck me the first time I ever got on the, the EGM strength equipment was the fact that you're so focused on, on getting the coins um, that you almost forget you're working out. And so you're gaining strength while really um, almost playing a game with yourself to, to get all those. So I, I think that's a huge piece um, for those that, you know, for the non-exercisers, but I've been an exerciser historically, so for, for exercisers as well. So Jessica, tell us how um, the Fitness Hub fits into your vision for your programming now and as you go into the future. Well, to start with, the Fitness Hub is great for setting up new members. Um, since it scans each member's height, it allows the machine to actually be closer to the setting it should be when we start setting up the memory seat. So it saves time in setting up each member. The flexibility assessments are just amazing. We just started it with our members and we wanted to kind of onboard them first. So we've taken a little bit of time to make sure they go through the regular setups. But the people who have done the flexibility really enjoyed it. It's amazing how much you can see. I mean, it can tell you to move your hip left or right. It can tell you to move your shoulder front or back. And it's just incredible what it can do. So flexibility is always important. I mean, everyone here will agree, but even more so as you grow older, so for us, it's great to have, and just knowing as well that the EGIM equipment has that full range of motion. So I know that it, the assessment will be a great tool for members. 
Great. I, I think I remember you uh, mentioning to, to me when we had talked previously that you, ha you have a, yo a, community, a yoga community. Um, yes. Tell yes. us tell a little bit about their reaction. To that. Well, so we do have yoga classes as well. And I think that's going to be a great tool for them as well to see how their flexibility improves with their yoga classes as well. And some of them participate in both e-gym and yoga, which, you know, that's the greatest way to do it, to do both. Awesome. Yeah, I, I think I think it's it's a centerpiece, right? And so it attracts interest, um, which exactly. then of course drives that kind of massive uptake from you know what less than ten to a hundred, uh, which is incredible growth. So um, that's awesome to hear. So from a business perspective, um, can you share any thoughts on the impacts um, you've experienced by having like the connected uh, eGym ecosystem on your fitness floor? But first of all, like I said, we have to collect all the data. So we're just in the beginning stages. We're getting our first reports now. And to be able to customize reports and see how progress is made and being able to share that not just with our organization, our board, but with donation requests and grants and everything, just to be able to see that what we have is actually working for members. And then for me, I love the fact that I can see when people have been working out, I can go in and track when they actually been working out in the system. So if they forget to check in, I can see that as well. And then just having new members come in, we've had people come into the facility who probably would never have set foot in the, in the building before because the senior center is for old people, right? So not 50 and over. Someone who's 50 years old might not necessarily feel like they should go here. Um, but once they come in and they see the equipment, they are absolutely sold and they love working out on it. And then having members who have been members for years and years and never been close to strength equipment can maybe in their 70s, 80s, they are coming in and they're enjoying it. It just makes it fun for them. Awesome. Jessica, thank you for sharing your experience. Before, before I let you go, I just want to make, give you a chance if there's anything else that you, you feel um, it's important to share to do that. And um, again, thank you for uh, your participation today. Thank you. I will just leave everyone with the fact that this is an amazing system. Um, we're a small organization and this is an investment that was very, um, it, it was a huge investment for us and it is worth every penny and it has just, it's um, been the cause of incredible growth as well. So I encourage everyone to look into it. Awesome. Jessica, thank you very much. Um, thank you, Dana. We appreciate us. it. Take thank care. You. All right. With that, um, and thanks again to Jessica. Uh, we are now, I see that we have had a bunch of questions shot over. So we're going to turn to um, some of your questions. Um, in order to facilitate our q and I've asked uh, Dallas Wright, Jim's man behind the curtain, to join us um, and share some of your questions. Um, so Dallas, uh, what were the top questions that the attendees were asking? Hi, Dana. Thanks everyone for en entering in your questions. We got Hi, some Dana. really good ones. Um, so we got a question here. What non e equipment do you integrate with? Is the information obtained for these partners available in the app for fitness tracking and motivation? Yes, and the list is extensive. Um, so, like I said, we have 75 partners, um, you know, Precore, Matrix, Life Fitness, um, et cetera. So a lot of the, most of the main cardio equipment providers um, we integrate with. Um, additionally, we integrate with wearables, uh, Fitbit, Apple Watch Connect, those kind of things. So um, the, the question is a good one. What I'll probably, so that's kind of the high level answer to that. Um, I'll have someone follow up with you on that question. Um, so we can dive deeper into specifically, you know, who are your uh, preferred vendors and how can we, if we don't already integrate with them, how can we do that? And the answer is yes, that information is pulled over uh, into our um, uh, apps, both the branded member app and the training app. Next question. Uh, we got a couple variations of this one. Um, so I'm worried that my trainers will see the fitness hub as competition and how would I combat that kind of mindset on my gym floor? Yeah, that's great. That's a good question. Um, you know, my experience running clubs is that trainers find almost everything is competition. So, um, so it's not surprising that, uh, that question would come up. 
I actually think the fitness hub is, um, and the eGym ecosystem is an enhancement tool for trainers, not competition, because it really frees. My experience with trainers is that they get frustrated by all the mundane tasks, all the administrative tasks, all the all the things that they do that takes them off of the floor, away from the personalized individual one-on-one -on -one sessions or, or group sessions that they can do with members. So most of the trainers, not all, most of the trainers that I've, I've come across love that connection and are really good at that and not so good at the, the menial mundane task. The eGym ecosystem and the fitness hub specifically takes that away from them and allows them to do what they do really well. So rather than a, a competitor to them, I think it actually um, enhances their capabilities. I also think the, the fitness hub and the ego, e gym ecosystem works um, well in lower staff models because it gives your staff a chance to get the setup right with the member and I'll, then allow the members to continue to see progress. But I, so I think it can work in both arenas, but I think it's an enhancement for trainers. Awesome. Then we got a two-part question. Um, is an eGym circuit required for the fitness hub? And which eGym machine, since we have multiple generations of strength equipment, is the fitness hub compatible with? Okay, so let me ask the answer the second question first, and then I'll get into the other one. So eGym e has the um, free flow, which was the um, previous um, generation and now the vision um, generation. And yes, the Fitness Hub works with both of those um, generations. So free flow and vision. The second question is the eGym Fitness Hub is designed to work most effectively within the eGym ecosystem. So integrating with um, our smart strength equipment to get the information, pull the, pull the information together in, in order to provide real visual progress. Um, to the members. So the fitness hub works as this, the center of that entire ecosystem. Um, what I think I'd like to do though, is to, to whoever asked that question, I think we'd like to talk to you individually to better understand where the question's coming from, what you're hoping to achieve um, on your fitness floor um, and what that might look like. So the fitness hub is designed to be the center of a connected fitness floor. Um, including agent strength, um, but I think we need to understand better what you're trying to achieve to fully answer that question. Awesome. Uh, when will the fitness hub be available for delivery, Dana? Great. And and um, Dallas, I see that uh, we're we're pushing up against 45 minutes. I want to make sure we are respectful of other people's time. So I'm going to take this as the last question, if you don't mind. So today's the launch. Uh, the, Big launch from, from eGym um, as a global company. Um, shipment and availability uh, really uh, will likely be in June, July timeframe. So we'll call it the you know, summer months um, is when we'll um, be shipping them from our North American um, location. So with that, um, and thanks for all the questions. I know we didn't get to a bunch of them. Um, so we are going to have people follow up um, and talk directly um, to you, answer those questions, make sure we understand, you know, your model and what you're trying to accomplish. But I thought we'd uh, bring this to a close and, and uh, let everybody um, go back to their day jobs. So um, you see a QR code up on the screen. Um, if you want to scan it, um, that'll bring you to a form that you can um, fill out and submit, uh, which will get you, uh, will get us that your information and be able to follow up. You can also immediately send an email to the, uh, email, the email address on screen um, for immediate uh, response as well. Um, so with that, I wanted to thank everyone for attending today's webinar. Uh, my hope is that I was able to provide you with enough information to get you as excited about the fitness hub as we are at each. Um, keeping in mind that I was only able to scratch the surface of what the fitness hub can and could do as part of your connected fitness floor, I encourage you to reach out to us uh, to learn more. Um, lastly, I wanted to thank uh, Jessica for sharing her experience with Fitness Hub. Um, her, in Belverde, they're off to a great start uh, using the Fitness Hub and the eGym strength equipment. Um, really appreciate getting feedback from the facility that has deployed the Fitness Hub and is using it in the real world. 
Finally, I have to thank my partner in crime, Dallas, for steering the ship today. Dallas, awesome job. So thanks again, everyone, for joining. Stay safe and be active.